In this video we share bearing interview question. Gear interview question. Coupling interview question and answer. Which is very helpful for fresh and experienced mechanical engineer. This video is best for you. This bearing tutorial video helps you to a beginner engineer to understand about bearing basics. This bearing tutorial for beginner video will helps you to learn introduction to bearing basic, what is bearing, types of bearing, function, difference between friction and anti-friction, thrust bearing, sliding contact bearing definition and so on. After watching this introduction to bearing basic video a beginner mechanical engineer gains knowledge about bearing basics. Don't skip the video, watch the video till ends. If you are new in the channel please subscribe our channel. Also like share comments the video if you really want. Question number 1. What is a bearing? Answer. Bearing is a device that helps smooth the movement with minimal friction which in turn helps enhances efficiency and speed. Considering two types of loading, radial and thrust, there are different types of bearings which help handle these loads. The basic difference in the types of loads is essentially due to their ability to handle weight and different kinds of loads for various applications. Question number 2. What are the different types of common bearings? Answer. Common types of bearings are Ball bearing Roller bearing Ball thrust bearing Roller thrust bearing Tapered roller bearing Magnetic bearings Question number 3. What are the functions of a bearing? Answer. The main functions of bearing are To guide the shaft To support the shaft to give free rotation to the shaft. Question number 4. Difference friction and anti-friction bearings. Answer. The difference between friction and anti-friction bearing are Friction bearings. This type of bearings contacts that shaft directly such as bush bearing, journal bearing etc. These bearings generally made of cast iron, brass and gun metal. Anti-friction bearings. These type of bearings have rolling elements such as balls, rollers etc. Anti-friction bearing is used to remove the friction between the shaft and casing. In journal bearing force is perpendicular to the shaft. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon for update new video notification. Also like comments and share my YouTube video. Question number 5. Difference between ball bearing, bush bearing, roller bearing and journal bearing. Answer. Generally, journal bearings have higher friction force, consume higher energy and release more heat, but they have larger contact surface, so normally used in low speed high load applications. In anti-friction bearings friction is less. One object just rolls over each other. Bush bearing, it is a plain cylindrical bearing made of brass, gunmetal, cast iron etc. Its inner bore is finished and made running fit to the shaft. It is generally used on low speed shafts carrying light load. Ball bearing, it consists of outer race, inner race, steel balls and cage. The balls are rolling themselves in the tracks between the outer and inner races. Bearing is fitted on shaft while its outer portion is fixed in housing. Balls have point contact and are free in the races, friction makes balls to rotate. Roller bearing is generally used on high speed with heavy load because it question number 6, what is the advantage of Teflon which is used for bearing? Answer. The advantage of Teflon which is used for bearing is. It has lower coefficient of friction. It is dimensional stable. It can be used at high temperature. It is practically chemically inert. Question number 7. State the components of rolling contact bearings. Answer. The components of rolling contact bearings are Outer race Inner race Rolling element Separator Question number 8. 
On what basis can sliding contact bearings be classified? Explain. Answer. Sliding contact bearings can be classified on the basis of the thickness of the lubricating agent layer between the bearing and the journal. They can be classified as follows. Thick film bearings. These types of bearings have their working surface separated by a layer of the lubricant. They are also known as hydrodynamic lubricated bearings. Thin film bearings. In this type of bearings the surfaces are partially in direct contact with each other even after the presence of lubricant. The other name for such type of bearings is boundary lubricated bearings. Zero film bearings. These types of bearings as their name suggests have no lubricant present between the contact layers. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon for update new video notification. Also like comments and share my YouTube video. Question number 9. What are the types of trust ball bearings? Answer. The types of trust ball bearings are. One directional flat race. Two. One directional grooved race. Three. Two directional grooved race. Question number 10. What are the several types of radial ball bearing? Answer. The several types of radial ball bearing. Deep groove ball bearing. Self-aligning ball bearing. Angular contact ball bearing. Filling notch bearing. Double row bearing. Do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching video. Please press like, comments, and subscribe. Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go A gear or cog is a rotating machine part having cut teeth or in the case of a cogwheel, inserted teeth, which mesh with another toothed part to transmit torque. Geared devices can change the speed, torque, and direction of a power source. In these part of the video we share basic gear common interview question for government weaver, lab weaver, board weaver etc. Hope a fresher can gain knowledge about gear basic. Question number 1. What is gear? Answer. A gear or cog is a rotating machine part having cut teeth or, in the case of a cog wheel, inserted teeth, which mesh with another toothed part to transmit torque. Geared devices can change the speed, torque, and direction of a power source. Question number 2. What is law of gearing? Answer. The law of gearing states that for obtaining a constant velocity ratio, at any instant of teeth the common normal at each point of contact should always pass through a pitch point, situated on the line joining the center of rotation of the pair of mating gears. Question number 3. What are the advantages and limitations of gear drive? Answer. The advantages and limitations of gear drive are. Advantages, since there is no slip, so exact velocity ratio is obtained. It is more efficient and effective means of power transmission. Limitations, manufacture of gear is complicated. The error in cutting teeth may cause vibration and noise during operation. Question number 4, define interference, circular pitch and diametral pitch. Answer. Interference, the phenomenon when the tip of tooth undercuts the roots on its mating gear is known as interference. Circular pitch. It is the distance measured along the circumference of the pitch circle from a point on one tooth to the corresponding point on the adjacent tooth. Question number 5. What are the methods to avoid interference? Answer. The methods to avoid interference are. The height of the teeth may be reduced. The pressure angle may be increased. The radial flank of the pinion may be cut back, undercutting. If you're new in this channel please press subscribe button and click the bell icon for update notification video. Question number 6. Define simple gear train and reverted gear train. 
Answer, gear train, when there is only one gear on each shaft, it is known as simple gear train. Reverted gear train, when the axes of the first and last wheels are coaxial, the train is known as reverted gear train. Question number 7, define backslash, conjugate action and contact ratio. Answer. Backslash. It is the difference between the tooth space and the tooth thickness along the pitch circle. Backslash equals tooth space, tooth thickness. Conjugate action. When the tooth profiles are so shaped so as to produce a constant angular velocity ratio during meshing, then the surface are set to the conjugate. Contact ratio. It is the ratio of the length of arc contact to the circular pitch is known as contact ratio. The value gives the number of pairs of teeth in contact. Question number 8. What is bevel gearing? Mention its types. Answer. When the non-parallel intersecting but coplanar shafts connected by gears, they are called bevel gears and the arrangement is bevel gearing. It is of two types namely skew bevel gearing and spiral gearing. Question number 9. Define normal and axial pitch in helical gears. Answer. Normal pitch is the distance between similar face of adjacent teeth, along a helix on the pitch cylinder normal to the teeth. Axial pitch is the distance measured parallel to the axis between similar faces of adjacent teeth. Question number 10. Define cycloidal tooth profile and involute tooth profile? Answer. A cycloid is the curve traced by a point on the circumference of a circle which rolls without slipping on a fixed straight line. Involute profile is defined as the locus of a point on a straight line which rolls without slipping on the circumference of a circle. Question number 11. Difference between non-standard gear teeth and compound gear train? Answer. Non-standard gear teeth, the gear tooth obtained by modifying the standard proportions of gear teeth parameters is known as non-standard gear teeth. Compound gear train, when there is more than one gear on shaft. Question number 12. What is the advantage of a compound gear train over a simple gear train? Answer. The advantage of a compound gear train over a simple gear train is that the much larger speed reduction from the first shaft to the last shaft can be obtained with small gears. Thanks for watching videos. For other related videos, in the description and in the description box. Hello friends. Welcome to my Tech Mecca YouTube channel. In this we share top 5 basic coupling interview question 2020 that asked in several company interview session. After watching this basic coupling interview question tutorial video a beginner easily learns and gains knowledge about coupling basic. Don't skip the video, watch the video till ends. Question number 1. What is coupling? Answer. The elements which join two shafts are coupling. It is used to connect sections of long transmissions shaft to the shaft of a driving machine. Couplings are used to connect sections of long transmission shafts and to connect the shaft of a driving machine to the shaft of a driven machine. Question number 2. Where are flexible couplings used? Answer. The flexible couplings used are following sector. Vehicle. Stationary machinery. Automotive drives. Machine tools. Question number 3. What is the advantage of gear coupling? Answer. Gear coupling is a grid coupling with some flexibility because of using curved external. Teeth strength of gear coupling is very high. Most compact coupling for high power. Transmission. Question number 4. Under what circumstances flexible couplings are used? Answer. They are used to join the abutting ends of shafts when they are not in exact alignment. They are used to permit an axial misalignment of the shafts without underabsorption of the power, which the shafts are transmitting. Question number 5. What is the function of a coupling between two shafts? Answer. Couplings are used to connect sections of long transmission shafts and to connect the shaft of a driving machine to the shaft of a driven machine. Hold me close.
close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left 